Well, hi there again. Um, been a little while. Uh, this is, believe it or not, the start of my CNC um, chuck driven um, tube profiler. So I thought I would show you uh, kind of the early stages. Uh, I'm not set up to show you the full build, um, but the idea is that this is going to turn at 45 degrees like that, um, and that is going to be the tube support. I uh, hope to cut about two meters. I don't really want to cut anything more than that. I haven't got the room in the shop. As you can see, it's not a super big shop. Um, so, yeah, what I'll do is I'll make little snippets of this as we go along. Um, I'm going to put uh, some 8mm plate on one end uh, to flush all this out so that we can get everything where it should be. Uh, then we'll have a little uh, little stub plate here that go into this. The um, The rails... Um, are going to go on here like that. There we go. So they're going to be driven on there uh, like that. And I think I'll do the same as I did with the CNC machine. If you guys remember, um, there'll be one there and one down here, and that'll give it all the stability. But it'll be on the outside, big part. So um, that one will sit somewhere in the middle like that. So we've got room to run the uh, run the rack. Um, and then this one will sit down here, um, out of the way of the torch, which is going to be above here. All right, so uh, what I'll do is I'll give you another little snippet once I've got the 8mm plates welded on. Um, so that is a stable um, thing. I might even uh, wait until I've got some legs on as well, rather than using these little trestles. So uh, uh, stand by, and I will be back shortly, and we'll see how far we can get today. Well, Cheers. here we go. Um, got this far. Um, obviously you use the plasma to knock out these ends. Uh, you can see we're all tacked up, ready to go. We're nice and parallel all the way down through here. Uh, that's going to be the chuck motor mount, so the chuck's going to rotate here. Uh, a bit of balls up, I forgot to drill out the holes. Never mind. Um, used 8mm plate, plenty, plenty strong enough. It's not going to hold much. Uh, what we're going to have is a um, it's a V support that runs down through here so that we can support the tube anywhere along this this length using, I'll probably 3D print some plastic cups or something like that just to, because uh, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be nowhere near the, nowhere near the arc. Um, the rail there, it's pretty much where the rails are gonna sit. By the time we've got a chuck on, bearings on here, uh, it's gonna be about right. So the whole thing uh, comes out 2.4 meters. Um, which I think is going to be super fine. Uh, I really don't need to cut anything longer than this. Uh, next job is going to be to um, get some legs on it. So, uh, let's swap some more bits, get some legs on it, get rid of these trestles. Uh, legs I'm going to bolt on. Uh, I haven't quite decided how or what yet, but uh, I'm going to bolt the legs on. I probably have a single leg this end, I'm not sure. Uh, and then a, a bit of a splayed leg the other end. But uh, we'll plasma cut out some more 8mm to do that uh, and see where we go from here. I, I may put a little uh, I may put a little web in here just because. Shouldn't need it, but uh, there's going to be no weight effectively. The weight's going to be straight down here on the, on the motor mount itself. Uh, and then the tube is going to be listed here. So. I've given myself a fair swing as well. Um, I've got a swing here, so I'll be able to do 250 mil tube. Um, if that ain't big enough, uh, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, so there we go. That's it as it stands at the moment. Uh, we don't do, uh, we don't, you know, we farm out our laser cutting tube, and we don't. We, I've never in in 35 years I've rarely come across pieces of tube that we do. That is greater than uh, than two meters so that's what i'm kind of banking on um the arm that supports all of the gubbins going over the top of here and um, to support the torch which is going to sit over here um that's all going to be made out of what's left of the 80 by 80 rw which i've got down here um so that's probably going to be my next little task because i would like to Really, I'd like to fake this up when I get home uh, in the garage because this is where this is going um, for now. 
So, plan for the rest of the day, uh, bearing in mind it's half past 11. Plan for the rest of the day is definitely going to be legs and torch on. So, let's see how we go. It's going to be an interesting little, uh, little jobby, but uh, this is the main thing. I want to just get the frame right. Um, I've been kind of scribbling this down and planning it for a good while. So it's about time I got my act together and got it sorted. So I'll be back later. See where we are by the end of the day. Cheers. Well, here we are then. Uh, this is nearly as much as I can do today. I want to see if I can fit it in the old powder coat and oven. Um, that's going to be the next thing. Um, we've got the legs on there. Um, it's okay. Uh, I've got them so that they sit inside out the way. Uh, it's not too stable to be fair. Um, so I'm going to have to put a leg brace in, but I kind of thought I was going to have to do that anyway. The height's quite good, kind of it's a little bit around waist height. Um, I'm going to mount the, all the control box and shelf business out here, so everything will be this end. Um, and then that will, this will be kind of the operating side if you like. Um, it all looks quite flat, square, and whatever it needs to be. Um, I've got a little bit of wiggle room in the legs because I'm going to put some feet on them so we can jack them, jack at all level. Uh, it's not too bad. It's pretty solid. To be fair, there's a little bit of judder, which of course, if you're going to be racing from one end to the other with the machine, um, you're going to get an awful lot of wobble. So, uh, my next uh, next effort on this is going to be uh, to put a couple of diagonal braces in the legs, probably right to the middle, to be fair, to give it some... Uh, give it some real you know make it nice and rigid you're going to want it rigid because i want this thing to race I, I mean i just want this thing to be just quick uh i mean it's never going to be as quick as maybe laser or anything like that but i just want it to be quick so my next job is to see if um all of that is going to fit in there uh i have my doubts but diagonally we might get away with it because uh, what have we got full length here? So here we go. So we've got two four hundred. Now I know I can definitely get two three hundred in the oven, um, but whether I can get two four hundred on the uh, on the diagonal is going to be something um, interesting. Anyway, there is not a lot else to weld to, well, there's nothing else uh, to weld to this bit. Uh, so uh, what I'm gonna do now is powder coat her up. Uh, the legs, I'll put the feet on. Uh, I would like to put the feet on really with it all mounted on the, on the machine itself, but I don't think we're gonna get that luxury, not today, because I can't lift all of that up onto the bench. So uh, anyway, there we go, let's, uh, Let's see if I can fit it in the powder coat and oven. Well, see in a bit. it's a bit of a surprise. Uh, KTM don't do ro rotary plasma cutters, but if they did, it'd be this. Okay, it's just about to go in the oven. So I'm dying to see, to be honest, what it comes out like. I don't know why I just went orange, just like KTM. There we go. So uh, let's bake it. It just fits, which is absolutely great news. Okay, well, um, last instalment of this particular bit, uh, we have got it made and powdered in nice KTM orange. Uh, this is my sort of layout that I'm going to be uh, doing, give or take. Uh, like I said earlier, there'll be another SPR rail down the other side. Um, that's where the motor's going to mount. Uh, I've got a little chuck for it right there. So we'll get that all that sorted. Um, left a hollow through here uh, for the for any cables and stuff. Uh, definitely going to have to strengthen up the legs a bit. It doesn't move much, but it moves a bit. I want it nice and solid. Uh, put the feet on the legs, like I said I was going to do. Uh, and all powdered up. So it's looking like uh, any minute now it's going to start coming together. Uh, I've got the, here's all the circuitry ready to go, I've uh, been dicking around with that a little bit, uh, this is going to be the chuck drive, this will be the Z axis, this will be the X axis, 
and that one over there will be the y-axis um, they're more or less the same motor but not quite um, this one is a little bit more powerful so there we go that's the that's the drivers from CNC for you uh, power supply uh, there's a little bob bracket board quite handy I'm still in two minds whether to uh, go over to uh, the myplasm setup I've got a spare one uh, in my office inside uh, in the house and I just don't know whether it's ready yet it seems to be very very beta um, but anyway this is it this is what I've spent uh, five hours today doing it's not bad it kind of decent amount of work to be fair uh, in my opinion so there we go um, all the other bits and pieces are here um, got the screw uh, got the z-axis bits got the x-axis bits uh, got a whole bunch of cable and shit so no all good can't wait actually looking really forward to it uh, but I've got to order the uh, the 16 mil SBR, so 2.4 meters apparently is a bit of an issue with companies not wanting to ship 2.4 meters in the UK at the moment. What is a matter with these outfits? Jesus Christ, it's uh, isn't it what keeps the wheels spinning? But anyway, there we go. Okay, if you like the video, uh, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, I'm always up for new subscriptions. It just helps me, well, do this stuff. I probably wouldn't have built this machine, to be quite honest, if it hadn't have been for, um, you know, the interest that's been shown as far as building CNC machines are concerned. Uh, I'm a very, very busy, 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 busy workshop. We, we we got so much work on. We're delaying work, putting off work, saying no to work. Um, but I think this is a bit of a priority. Uh, it'll help us. We always do stuff a little bit quicker and, and everything's great. So there we go. So like and subscribe as always, the old dirty bits. And uh, I will keep you informed with the with the next iteration of this bad boy. Uh, I, I can't wait. I just need to see it going. But there's so much I need to do. Got to earn some money first to pay for the parts because uh, they ain't cheap. Uh, so there we go. Anyway, take care. Uh, please stay safe because... We got this uh, this other variant that seems to be ravaging our country at the moment. So just get vaccinated, stay safe, and take care. See you now. Cheers.